portal, NIL, or the early opt-outs transport back into this time as a general, which is the easiest of those to adapt and tackle? <laughs> and we're talking about the portal, opt-outs. The po and the NIL, which is the easiest easiest of those three you think would be to <laughs> adapt to and say, hey, we're in. And which one would you say, oh, hell, like this whole thing is, is you know, I, I just want to get your take on, again, from, a, from, from the tip of the spear, how are these, because we talk about this stuff all the time. But yeah. we're not leading an entire program and we're not trying to hold continuity to this thing. And yeah. and we're not under that gun. We're not under the pressure. Yeah. There's no easy one to tackle first, I don't think. Let me just say this. I think the opt-outs, and this is – are you talking about opt-out of a bowl game or leaving school early to the NFL? Uh, probably or both. Both, because even uh, – well, as we all know on here, a great percentage of the underclassmen that show up at the NFL Combine go undrafted. Right, right. It's a staggering like 70% of the underclassmen that heard one agent tell them, I think you're a third rounder. That's enough for me. And then yeah. they're, they're watching the whole – they're watching the draft, house full of folks, and it starts and ends with them never hearing their name, and they already gave up their spot in college. Yeah. So I, I, yeah, hundred percent. I mean, I think the opt out thing, I mean, if you're going to be a first round draft pick, whether you're going to leave early, like let's say you're a junior, let's start there. You're going to leave early. You're, I'm contemplating trying to leave and I'm going to give me, you know, a first round grade. That doesn't mean you're going to be drafted in the first round. That means you have the potential. They haven't done their injury, their history on injuries, character stuff, all those type of things. But if, all indications you got a really good chance to be drafted in the first round. I think there's a really strong percentage you should probably leave and go to the NFL. And maybe the same thing for the bowl game. Um, if you're truly going to be one of those first rounders. But I mean, if you're going to be a first rounder and you played in the, and you played in um, the bowl game and got hurt, you're still going to get drafted high. You know, you, you, the worst case scenario, ACL, right? Like a year injury, really. You're still going to get drafted very, very high. Maybe not as high as you were, but someone's like, you knew that you're kind of a rare talent if you're a first rounder. And so, you know, I would just be, it's football, you know, and you played a lot of football. Can something happen? Yeah, something could happen. But, and then whether a guy should come out or not, I think it just depends. Can you up your stock? Do you have more meat on the bone? I know this. When we had Vita Vea, so, you know, Vita, they were talking about being an upper second round pick. And we really felt like he had way more meat on the bone, like he could develop and really get into the first round. And even if he got into the lower first round, we're like, he still can get, like some guys have kind of, this is as good as, they, they're just that good and they're not going to get any better, but they're better than most. Vita, we felt, was still learning the game. So he decided to come back and he probably made himself $10 million coming back, coming back for that extra year. Um, oh. Just where he went, with the signing bonus and the draft and all those type of things. So there's, you know, and I get it. You could get hurt and it could knock you a little bit, but you know, I think you just gotta, you know, if you're, you gotta look at each case individually, the portal again, I give the same advice with my, my career. Like, I think you need to be slow to go somewhere. Mm. I think quarterbacks are a little bit of a different issue because there truly is only one of them. And if there's a guy that's young and he's the guy, you kind of get that. The thing I think about the portal is if as a coach, no coach, if you don't, if you can't help this team and you don't bring value to the locker and you really can't play here, no coach wants you to stay there. They want you to go. If you're not this level of player, they want you to go somewhere where you can play. Now, you may take a little more seasoning and developing to get the time that you want, but 
the grass, I mean, that thing, that grass is not always greener. The grass is greener where you water it and you fertilize it. And stop second guessing you should be somewhere else. And I will tell you this, from the guys that I've been involved with, that I've paid attention to them transferring other places. And this is even me stepping out of it for the last three years and paying attention to the guys I know. I have seen very few where it got better for them. Very few. The majority is either the same, but probably worse in terms of playing time, all those type of things. It's Situation. usually worse. Yeah, all that. And they I know they're kicking themselves thinking I should have just hung in there. But it's almost the cool, hot thing to do now. Like, let me get in that portal and go. And I think you should be very careful about that. NIL would be the last thing that I'm talking about as a recruit. I don't even want to talk about that until the very end of this. And the sad thing is, that's the first thing most places, a lot yeah. of these guys are talking about. There's a coach I was talking to, and they're talking about recruiting this kid. And they said, well, and these are elite program. And he said, yep. I said, you know, how was it? He told me, how was the visit? It ain't even about the visit. Well, we got a really strong offer out, but so does so-and-so. That's all it's about. The strong offer. And strong like, offer as in financial offer? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You ain't talking just scholarship. You're talking scholarship? What? That's not what this is about anymore. <laughs> yeah. And again, these are like elite programs and these are elite kids and all that kind of stuff. So it doesn't, but I know every kid is thinking, what is my NIL situation or potential down? And I think that's a question that needs to be talked about and asked, but it needs to be the last thing. Yeah. Do I like this school? Do I like living in this part of country? Do I connect with these coaches? Do I align mm -hmm. with this? Forget about the uniforms. Forget about the size of the stadium. Forget about all this hype. And we would walk our guys out to the stadium in Washington on Mont Lake, which is truly, if you haven't been there, George, I know you have, so you can kind of attest to this. It is the greatest setting in college football. Like, you get a nice day out there on that water, 70,000 feet. It is so spectacular. And I'd get the guys, and I'd say, guys, guess what? And they just did a photo shoot with the unis and sparkling chrome helmets and the black unis. And they're all hyped up. And we got the speakers blurring in the stadium. And we go, guess what? None of this right here. Isn't this awesome? And they're like, this is awesome, coach. I said, none of this has is going to have anything to do with your happiness coming here. Mm. I'm just telling you. Like, the work you're going to put in here, the day-to-day -day in that locker room with those brothers, the coaches that are going to coach you, the professors, the teachers on campus, the community, that's what this thing's about. We love running out here and getting our, like, six, you know, six games in this, or seven games in a season, a year in this. And it goes like that. So it can't be all about this. That's just part of it. And now, now it's going to just, like, the first thing is about NIL. And to me, I think that needs to be the last thing. It's about these two schools or these three schools, and I just love them, and I'm aligned. Oh, yeah, what, are, what is the NIL situation? I mean, in, in, in reality, too, you're not even supposed to be talking to that, uh, to kids about that, um, you know, that you're recruiting. 